On the news tonight, Chief of Defense Staff warns politicians against fermenting trouble during and after Belsa State of Cycle Governorship election. Tarere Obo women canvasses support for the re-election of Governor Diri. Plus, President Bola Tinubu confirms Kayode Egbetokun as the Substantive Inspector General of Police. Good evening, this is NTA Yanagwa News at 7. I am Samuel Nomonengi, now the news in full. Governor Doye Diri has approved the implementation of an improved 30% new minimum wage for pensioners and other retirees in Bayelsa who were not initially captured before the policy came into effect. This development is in fulfillment of a promise made by the governor during the 2020 Workers' Day celebration after the submission of a committee report by the Secretary to the Bayelsa State Government, Gideon Ekewe. Speaking shortly after the signing of the implementation document at the Governor's Office in Creek Avenue, Yenagua, Gideon Ekewe said the approval was another indication of Senator Dayedure's friendly disposition to labor, particularly to retail senior citizens who have contributed their quota to the development of the state. He informed that the consequential minimum wage adjustment would cut across categories of pensioners from grade, grade level 1 to 17, but excluding retired permanent secretaries and director generals who serve in the Old River State. The payment of the consequential minimum wage for the pensioners, according to him, will begin on the 1st of October 2023. Meanwhile, the chairman of the Belsa State Chapter of National Union of Pensioners, Comrade Williams, IBIK has expressed delight over the development. <laughs> Some uh, of our elder statesmen who retired before the adjustment of the minimum wage were not benefiting from the 30,000 Naira new minimum wage. But all those who retired from then are benefiting, but others were not benefiting. So this consequential adjustment takes care of all of those people who retired from grade level 1 to grade level 17. It's one of His Excellency's way of uh, honoring those who have served. For you to have served 35 years or 60 years, as the case may be, and retired, you are elder statesman. And so it is the duty of government to take care of you now. And I think that is what the governor has done. And that is the report we just submitted. Graciously, His Excellency has approved it. And its implementation takes effect from 1st of October 2023. On behalf of the entire pensioners in the state, we are very, very grateful. We appreciate the magnanimity of His Excellency. He's a man of the people. We were looking forward to this day when he will approve it and he has done it. I do not see the heart of the pensioners, but I know that if the news is heard by them, they will ovate him. They will say more grace to your elbow. IBIQ was present at the brief signing ceremony along with other officials of the union. Said they, will, they were overwhelmed by the magnanimity of the governor. He said the inclusion of pensioners in the improved new minimum wage payroll will positively impact on the economic well-being of retirees. Among those present during the signing was the Bell State Head of Service, Biobademoye Charles Onyema. The Chief of Defense Staff, General Christopher Musa, has sounded a note of warning to all those wanting to ferment trouble during the Bell State governorship election to desist as they will be dealt with decisively. The Chief of Defense Staff gave the warning during an interactive session with commanders, heads of paramilitary agencies, and senior officers in Yanagua, Bell State. Ebenimi Zitimiola reports. It is barely 11 days to the off-circle governorship election in Bayosa, Kogi and Imo states. The bar cannot be lowered. Therefore, all hands are on deck to deliver on these all-important national assignments. These elections must be peaceful. 
whatever it takes, we must make sure that it is peaceful. And the president is counting on us to achieve that. We will not allow ourselves to be used by anybody for any reason, other than providing peace and tranquility in this town. It is in the strength of the above that the interactive session between the Chief of the Defense Staff, General Christopher Mosa, commanders, heads of paramilitary agencies and senior officers is critical towards ensuring peace and safety of lives before, during and after the election. Ours is to ensure that we secure the environment, provide an enabling environment for people to come out and vote en mass without any threat or intimidation. What's more? Officers and men are urged to be disciplined and professional in the discharge of their duties. I've taken also uh, into consideration all the threat areas and we have mapped out how to curb them by massive deployment. The chief of defense staff cautioned politicians to avoid making inflammatory comments. Social media users were also urged to disease from circulating contents capable of inciting violence. The chief of defense staff was at the headquarters Operation Delta Safe South South to boost the morale of officers and soldiers. Ebinimi Zitemiola, NTA News. Tarirubu Iri, a social cultural, cultural group of cultural Bielsa wives, is drumming support for the election, re election of Bielsa State Governor and PDP candidate Senator Doye Diri. Their support for Governor Doye Diri, the women say, is premised on the developmental strides and peaceful disposition of the governor. Even Ms. Timela reports that the women have been visiting various communities across the state to galvanize support for the re-election of Senator Daye Diri. It is less than two weeks to the November 11 governorship election in Bioso State and campaigns have entered the final lap. Mindful that elections are won via the ballot, Tarere Ogbu, a social cultural group established 20 years ago, made up of non-indigenous women married to Bielsa men, is visiting the grassroots. They are sensitizing voters and at the same time drumming support for the re-election of Governor Doye Diri. Kayama, headquarters of Kolokumopukuma local government area. Ayamasa in Ekaramo local government area, Chungbo, Adagbabiri and Sagbama town in Sagbama local government area are some of the communities the women visited. <laughs> They were also at Ofoni, the hometown of the deputy governor of Bioso State, where the campaigns turned into a celebration. All of us, Ofoni, we in short, we don't have our opposition party. We don't have another party here, Ofoni. Ofoni is PDP family. In all of the communities visited, the message was clear. The re-election of the Bioso State governor. According to the women, the governor has impacted the lives of the people through massive road construction, prompt payment of salaries, and a monthly 200,000 Naira business support grant for women across the 105 wards, among others. The road, the security we enjoy in the states, we can't, is, that is, we can't mention it. The women are happy because the miracle governor is delivering, has been delivering. We're all experiencing the goodness of his uh, governance and we believe that he will do more if given a second chance to rule again. So my message to all women is that we should come out on that day and vote for PDP. We are here to encourage our fellow Igbo women that are married to Bayasa to come out in mass to vote for PDP. The women who appreciated the visit pledged total support for the PDP and his candidates. The money where they put for us 30, uh, th uh, junior staff 30, 40, 50, palliative money in each our hand. And again, Christmas bonus, we never see them for long. Yeah? But last December, do you did give us? I have been seeing the work of, the good work of PDP. PDP has helped a lot of people in this town. As far as Igbo women is concerned in Kayama, we believe that Doye Diri has been the one leading us and we are not complete. We are comfortable with the dealership. Pray Ogbo, gorgeous by also wives. Reactions have continued to trail the appeal court judgment. We set aside the verdict of the lower court and allowed the APC governorship candidate Chief Timipri Silva 
to contest for the November 11th governorship election, Doris Akumoye reports. The All Progressives Congress Governorship Candidate Chief Timmy Pro Silva's appeal was upheld by the Court of Appeal, which ruled that the first respondent, Deme Kolomo, is not an aspirant in the election and lacked the local standing to institute the case. The judgment stakeholder stated is a welcome development which they believe will deepen democracy and give the candidates the opportunity to concentrate in galvanizing support for votes ahead of the November governorship election. Because we trust and keep faith in the judiciary, uh, we, we, we move to the appeal and as God may have it because the people of Bayelsa are yearning for a better and true leadership, someone who love Bayelsa and uh, with this judgment it has shown clearly that uh, we still have faith in the judiciary. The appeal for enabling environments for all parties to sell the manifesto of their candidates for a healthy contest. And for that reason, if the appeal court had been able to say that this man is qualified and by all standing is good enough to contest, I think, not big deal. There should be fair play in all ramifications and whosoever that emerge as the winner should be recognized and you'll announce. Stakeholders call on key players to play by the rules of the electionary process. In Yenegoa Doris Akomonye, NCA News. Now time for us to take a break. We'll be back with more news when we return. Stay tuned. The 2023 governorship election in Bayelsa State will take place on Saturday, 11th November 2023. Please note that voting starts at 8.30 a.m. and ends at 2.30 p.m. However, all eligible voters on the queue on or before 2.30 p.m. will be allowed to vote. The bimodal voter accreditation system Beavers will be used for accreditation of voters before casting their ballots. A voter can cast his or her vote only at the polling unit where his or her name appears on the register of voters. Remember, no PVC, no voting. Your vote is your right. Use it wisely. This message is from the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC. INEC, making your vote count. Consolidating our democracy. Thank you. Thank you. How are you doing now? I did campaign. I campaign. I bring your medicine. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Papa, where are you? I don't know. If you don't join now, your business. Oh, your business? <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, which company? Mm -hmm. Papa? Mm -hmm. Miko, don't they follow them go cook oil? That's illegal. Oh, small yeast. It's a yeah. crime. That kind of business is no good for Miko at all. It is illegal and very dangerous. <laughs> what happened? Papa, 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 Hey. My country people, Palava we bunkle an illegal refinery because for the community, E2 plenty. Our picking them we get better future, don't they? Peme on top, we they carry our own hand, spoil we land and water. How beg you, no follow the do or sponsor this kind of business. Now, Pipeline Infrastructure Nigeria Limited and NNPCL say, make we tell you now. My good people of Bayelsa State, make we hear my voice and hear me well, well. Another governorship election don't come again. When everybody who come out go vote their choice for who will be the next governor of the state. I beg all of you as you go vote, make you shine your eyes well, well. Make you not thief, thief, violent box. Make you not fight. Election not be war. Make you not scatter, scatter any property. Now we all go suffer when time come. Make will not cause any katakata or wahala. Make will not let the election be free, fair, and peaceful. On that day, when be 11 November 2023, make you let your vote count. Oh, now enter Yenegua. Bring una this message. Oh, good to know you're still there. Next is business news with Blessing Joseph. The Nigerian Labour Congress, NLC, Trade Union Congress of Nigeria, TUC, and the Nigeria Employers Consultative Association, NECA, have raised alarm over the continued downfall of the Naira, asking for urgent steps to be taken by the federal government to stabilize the country's currency. NECA, 
which is the voice of business in Nigeria, has lamented that the free fall of the Naira is shutting down businesses in the country. The NLC also expressed grave concern over the rapid and unprecedented devaluation of the Nigerian Naira against major world currencies, particularly the United States dollar. Noting that this alarming trend, if left unchecked, threatens to unleash a wave of devastating consequences on the Nigerian economy and its citizens. The NLC and other associations calls upon the custodians of our economy to recognize the gravity of the situation and take immediate and decisive action to halt this uncontrolled depreciation of the Naira. Every money spent on buying foreign-made goods creates jobs outside the country to the detriment of Nigerian labor markets and puts pressure on the Naira. However, money spent on purchasing locally manufactured goods creates jobs in Nigeria, thus increasing employment, elevating income, reducing poverty, and much more reducing the pressure on the Naira as it encourages local manufacturers to increase production, raise their standards, and create better chances for exports. Meanwhile, Dollar to Naira exchange rate currently trades between 1,110 Naira and 1,150 Naira with an average of 1,113 Naira at the parallel market and also trades at 788 Naira at the official market. With business news, Blessing Joseph, NTA News. And now to sports, foreign scouts as in Belsu State scout to scout for players that will play their footballing career out of the shores of the state are in Yanagua. 18 teams drawn from within and outside the state are participating in the three-day program. Danny Kume Ulolo reports. <laughs> the Bayesa State Government has continued to make deliberate efforts to ensure youths of states are gainfully empowered and sports is one of the tools the government is using. The third Governor Doedri International Scouting Exercise is targeted to discover talents that will play in the various national teams in the future. Organizers lauded the Bayesa State Government for investing in the youths positively as well as giving them the enabling environment to display their talents. They further noted that the continuous hosting of the Prosperity Cup no doubt has given hope to local footballers in the state to play international football as well as reduce crimes among youths. Since this year, Bayesa is going to be the largest grassroots uh, football playing state in the country and in, in, in fact in, in the African sub-region. With our teams, with Prosperity Cup, with 214 teams, we've been able to drive our boys, our youths off the streets back to the sports arena to ply their trade in soccer. This is in tandem with His Excellency Senator Doridiri's sports and youth development policy and that is to give all youths the opportunity to excel in their chosen fields of endeavor. The foreign scouts commended the Bayesa state government for their support and efforts in creating opportunities for teaming youths and expressing hope of spotting some player. We know Bayelsa, when it comes to football, the likes of CSCR, Terrible West, and uh, Victor Benembe at the minute, it is still the host top talents. I mean, there are pools of talent there, and so we have come to actually search. It's an ultimate search. We need to find, figure out another another, another CSCR, another Terrible West, and uh, Victor Benembe. Nigerian football has got a great reputation, of course, in Europe with some of the top players, Victor Almashen, Boniface. So we're obviously here looking for that type of talent and hoping to find it today and already the, the sun's out. Um, we've seen some, some good players, some young players, so we look forward to the next few days um, and, and that's, our, that's, our, that's our goal. And for the boys obviously to perform well and get the opportunity to hopefully go to Europe and, and begin a professional career. I am very happy uh, to come here uh, to Nigeria. Nigeria is uh, one big country for football. I see uh, uh, yesterday to, to one game here, uh, good talent. 18 teams within and outside Bayesa State are participating in the showpiece with high hopes to be among players that will be selected. In Yenegua, Yanukume Ulolu, NTN News. 
That's the trending news at this time to end the news recap of major stories. Chief of Defense Staff has warned politicians against fermenting trouble during and after the House State of Cycle governorship election. Tari Reobo Women Group has pledged their support for the re-election of Governor Doye Diri. We also heard in the news that President Ahmed Bola Tinibu has confirmed Kayade Egbetokun as the Substantive Inspector General of Police. Thanks for keeping the date with the news. Good night.